When learning the guitar, we often like to rely on our teachers, in person or online, to deliver new information to us. And while yes, the knowledge that teachers provide is incredibly valuable, the most important person in your guitar learning journey is you, the learner. So if you expect to simply become a great guitarist and musician by simply watching YouTube lesson videos or going for guitar lessons, you will be sorely disappointed at your progress. Why? Because a teacher can only provide extrinsic motivation. To truly become a good musician, you need to be intrinsically motivated. Your desire to grow and level up as a musician needs to exceed the information that your teacher can provide such that you hunger for more knowledge and that hunger drives you to seek it out and apply it on your own. So I've taught many students and the ones who make the fastest progress are those who actively listen to music, think about how techniques and pieces are executed, try them out themselves, get really confused and frustrated, yet they persevere simply out of a hunger and curiosity to improve their technique and musicianship. Now for these students, my role as a teacher is simply to monitor their progress, keep them on the right track, ensure that they aren't picking up any bad techniques, introduce new knowledge at the right time. My job is pretty simple. And now let's talk about self-taught versus formal instruction. You've heard many great guitarists being self-taught musicians. Perhaps you are one yourself and there's a reason why these self-taught guitarists can reach the level that they have while others who attend formal instruction fall behind. Often it is no fault of the teacher, but the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. So by its very definition, a self-taught musician is intrinsically motivated. They drive themselves to seek out knowledge and technique. If they don't find it, they'll just look elsewhere and they'll find it eventually. Now, they may not always find the best techniques and may not always take the most efficient route, but they know what they want and will do what it takes to get there. This sort of intrinsic motivation cannot be imparted by a teacher, only encouraged. Now, on the other hand, learners who undergo formal instruction have the great benefit of an experienced musician mentor who will show them the most efficient route to improvement, to correcting your bad habits, and will guide them toward the use of optimum techniques, transmit knowledge in a structured manner, and on top of that, provide extrinsic motivation. However, if this student does not have that intrinsic motivation, he or she will definitely fall behind the self-taught student. Therefore, the best route to learning guitar is obviously an intrinsically motivated learner under the guidance of a great teacher. And it all boils down to two different approaches to learning the guitar. Do you construct knowledge or do you receive it? Ultimately, the best learner constructs knowledge through a combination of self-seeking, hard work, perseverance, and careful guidance by a teacher. So don't simply wait to receive knowledge because you won't get very far with that approach. And well, the good news is that if you are watching this video, you're likely already on the right track. So let's continue this dialogue in the comments below. Let me know, are you learning under formal instruction or are you a self-taught guitarist? I look forward to hearing from you and I wish you all the best in your guitar learning journey. Goodbye.